Okay, let's get started. Please go to Wix.com. From there, you will see the Get Started button or Log In. Click on Get Started. You just type in your email, set up a password, and sign up. You can also sign up with Google and Facebook. You can go to Log In as well and log in with your email, Facebook, or Apple ID. So once you're logged in, you'll come to this page. It will have either your sites from previous or a trash bin if you deleted any. If you have none, this should come out blank. Up at the top, you'll see create a new site. Click on that. You can now use AI to start your website or you can set up without AI. I'm going to click set up without AI. So what kind of website are you creating? You can either skip this or enter. I'm going to do an educator one. We can find a title for this site. Click next. So when it comes to your website, there's lots of different pages that you can include, lots of different fun things, but we're just going to focus on online programs. From there, you can add more, but I'll be looking for online programs. And then when you're ready, click next. Now you can start your site by a template or a custom built site, or you can just go into your dashboard. We're going to start at the dashboard. This is a simple list that Wix has put together. Um, when you're connecting your custom domain, you will need to upgrade. But if we're working on just a free one, we're just going to ignore this. And we're going to go to design your website, the design site. There are two options for designing your website. You can let Wix create a site for you, or you can customize a design template. There are lots of templates to choose from, but some templates have more pages and things that you end up having to delete after. So I suggest clicking on get started. You can include some of this information, but if it's not relevant, you can just skip. For here as well, if there's a theme that you like, you can select, but you can also just skip. From here, you can pick your favorite homepage design. This is just a template for you to start to work with. I like this one, so we're just going to stick with this and click next. For pages that you're going to need for your site, you can include an about page, publication, courses, news resources, and contacts. Congratulations, your site is up and running. So we can either go right into the editor or to the dashboard. We're going to click on dashboard, go to the side and select online programs. This is where you'll be able to create and sell an online program. And you're going to click get started. There are a lot of presets, but we're going to start with start fresh. Click next. Now, what do you want to call your program? This will be determined based on your own course. So for mine, I have a, a title. And next, you can decide whether it's self-paced or scheduled. I'm going to select self-paced, select next. How long do participants have to complete your program? Either it's unlimited or time limited. I'm going to do unlimited. And now the course page is, will be generated. And this is where you'll be able to go in and click on edit. Review the basic information. This will be a great spot where you can input images. So if you have no images available, you can go and to upload images. This is where you'll be able to pick an image from any of the sources. The top one is from your computer. You just drag and drop and you can see it's uploading. So you just select the image that you want to include and add to page. 
categories are great for when you're trying to get found on Google, but we don't need to add a description is really good to include. So just a simple description it can go up to 2000 words. So we're just going to keep it simple for today and we're going to save. This is where you'll be able to adjust the visibility. So if you want it public, private, or secret, as well as pricing to have to pay to join, you have to upgrade. So we're just going to keep it for free for now. If you would choose to do a pay to join later, you just need to press here for upgrade. Upgrading does cost extra. So we're going to keep it the free site. Number of participants can be limited or unlimited. We're going to keep with unlimited and save. When it comes to scheduling, we can again adjust from self paced to scheduled. Is there a timing, no time limit or a time limit? And then here is where you're going to decide whether your course can be done in any order or in a fixed order. I prefer a fixed order. This also gives an option to hide future steps, but we want other future steps to be seen. This can be adjusted based on what course you are designing. With groups, it's great if you want them to take polls, post uh, comments and share with each other, but really it's not necessary. If you would like, you just select connect group, create a group. Is it public, private, or only paying members? We're going to do public. And we can just do group name is students, whatever you would choose and done. We can save. Now for rewards, we can choose between a final certificate or a final badge. If you would like to have multiple badges throughout your program, each course will have its own badge at the end. There's a bit of a hiccup where you can't have a badge after every lesson or after every module. It comes the participants a badge when they have completed all the steps. So once they've completed the course, then they'll receive a badge. If you want to have multiple badges, you need to create multiple courses. So creating a certificate is a great way. It's designed and issue a certificate of completion for participants who finish the program. This is fun. You could just click on certificate and it opens up a custom certificate. You can pick between the two templates and there's a lot of customizing that you can do. So you can adjust the date and time site name. Right. So it comes up different. If you go back signatures. Um, we only need one person because it's just me. And so forth. You can also change the different decorations. Whatever one works for you. As well as add a logo. If you don't have a logo, this gives you an option for creating a logo. You just select that and get started. You can skip that. So this is a list of some of the designs that are generating. You can see other ones as well, or you can just sort of pick what one works for you and then customize your logo. So you don't always have to stick with those same colors. We can change the colors, edit different ones. You can change the text. So if you wanted to add more text, you can, you can also select that text and change the fonts or sizing color. You can also include symbols, shapes 
or images and as well changing the background. So for this one, it's a red, but maybe we want to go darker. When you're happy with it, your logo, you can then push next. If you'd like, you can purchase, but there at the bottom, you can download a free sample. Once that logo is downloaded, you can then go to replace and add it to your your media, add to page, and now you see your logo is at the bottom. You can also add signatures, edit the underlines, edit the frames, and adjust the background. And then press apply. Then you're going to go back to your program page and your certificate is there. You can include a certificate and a badge or one or the other. If you don't want a certificate, you can later disconnect it. But if you would like to add a badge as well, you can add a badge and then add new. We're going to add the title. We can change the color, add an image. and save. Here we can do a sign based on the person itself, or we can do edit again and save. So here you can see module one is under the badge. Now again, this badge will be given at the end of the course. If your design included multiple badges and that is something that you're looking to include, I suggest creating multiple courses where each course receives a badge. So you might have the first course seen as module one, the second course is module two and so forth. So once you're happy with that, you can then press save. We don't need any notifications. This is where you would create like a customized email for those that are taking your course. And SEOs are more focused on for Google to find you sort of these things can be done later. They're not necessary for your course. So once you're happy with that information, we can then go back to the course itself and get started on the content.